Sound Mind and Body is supported by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com forward slash inbound. All of you who are listening who have some expertise to share something burning in your heart, something that you're not happy about in your life and a way to freedom to really be able to express who you are and what you are and create whether it's a podcast or an online course or an ebook or anything else that helps put you out there on a greater level without you having to show up all the time to do it. I want you to really consider putting that out because the world needs us more than ever right now. A wellness, a fitness, a consciousness revolution is only going to happen if we make it happen and we get over ourselves and leap over into that scary but ultimately so rewarding and powerful place of rocking who you are out there into the world. The world needs us to do it more than ever, so let's go. Hello and welcome to Sound Mind and Body, a podcast where we interview inspiring people about the many different ways to stay healthy, balanced, and well of mind, body, and spirit in today's crazy world with a dash of woo-woo. I'm your host, Sheila Melody, and this episode is part two of my update with a few of our past guests who I connected with at the Mind Body Bold Conference in San Diego a few weeks ago. In this episode... I'll be talking to Sadie Nardini and Corey Sterling. As I mentioned in the last episode, MindBody is one of my favorite conscious companies in the world. I use their software to manage my strength training studio, and for the past three years, me and my lead trainer, Ann Kirkland, have attended their Bold Conference, and each year it gets better. Last year, we were introduced to Sadie Nardini. She was doing a talk about making six figures while you sleep. That sounded pretty good to us, so we went to her seminar. We had no idea who Sadie was, and we were delighted to see this fierce rock chick with a mohawk up there talking about doing her own style of yoga to Guns N' Roses. We were in. Not only was she an amazing teacher, but she was so inspiring to help us find our own unique voice. After her one hour of time ended in the conference room, She told everyone to meet her at the pool bar, and she continued to show us her social media tricks for at least another hour while enjoying a glass of Pinot Grigio. What's not to love? I had the chance to meet her again early this year at another Bold event in Los Angeles and asked her if she'd be on my podcast. She graciously said yes, and you can hear our first interview on episode 26. This year at Bold, we connected again and had the chance to sit down at the same pool bar and talk about what she's been up to. So we'll hear what Sadie has to say in a bit. But first, I also had the chance to catch up with Corey Sterling at Bold. You might remember him from episode 31. He's the heart-leading lawyer who calls his company Conscious Counsel. I actually told Corey about the Mind Body Bold conference, and sure enough, he showed up. He lives in Vancouver, that is when he's not traveling around the world, this was our first time meeting in person, and it was such a blast. Corey is an incredibly kind and intelligent person who also happens to be a kick-ass attorney who leads with love. We ran into each other several times during the conference, and he was often barefoot. (laughs) It's so inspiring to see someone living and enjoying the present moment so fully while also doing his work as an amazing attorney. And it was great to sit down with him and find out what's new with Conscious Counsel. Hi, nice to see you again and to be back on the podcast as a return return guest. Just a special shout out to Tim. Want to say what's up, dude? (laughs) Miss not seeing your face on the screen, but also happy to be a real person. He will be listening to this and he will really appreciate you saying that. (laughs) Love you, bro. So, Corey, this is your first time at the Bold Conference, and what's your what's your experience like? My experience has been phenomenal, and actually I would say like the investment to come paid off last night. Really? So within like the first four hours, made a lot of wonderful connections, met people. I think what it, in some ways there's a formal networking aspect, which I'm actually horrible at. <laughs> I'm not good at formalities. I'm not good at doing the things the way they're supposed to be done. Yeah. <laughs> but just met some like amazing teachers and some wonderful people who work for MindBody. And like that in and of itself uh, perpetuates 
a beautiful network. And for me, life is about people, meeting awesome people. This is the place to be. I love it. You fit right in here, and I knew you would. And have you taken any of the classes? Um, did you do, did you do, you said last night we saw each other, you said you were going to do the silent disco. Did you do it? I did. I got, <laughs> um, I set my alarm for 6 a.m. after a whole bunch of nights of not sleeping. What I didn't know was that it was a dance class. Uh-oh. So I thought, to me, it was like, I thought it was silent disco, like more of like jump around, hop around, free movement. Right. But really it was a highly coordinated dance moves. Did and you do it? I made it 20 minutes. <laughs> And then I just thought, great effort, Corey. I tried. And uh, I just... Is there video? So they, there, there were a lot of people filming. I don't think they were filming me, but probably I was just caught, like, shaking, doing a twirl, <laughs> which is cool. I mean, that's what conferences are about, trying new things. So it's like, I'm open to it, but You're also... You're going to end up on the Mind Body trailer for the Bold Conference 2018. <laughs> and the only world will be dance. It's just going to say dance <laughs> with a picture of a six-foot-three lanky guy dancing. <laughs> so that's a new woo-woo moment for you. L- yeah. Listen, dancing and woo-woo is great. I, I love dancing all the time. I go to concerts all the time. This was my first, like, formal dance lesson. Oh, I love it. This is great. So you're making some firsts here at Bold. A, a lot of firsts. That was my, my first first of today. So um, you are a conscious attorney, which I find really wonderful. And tell us what you're doing now. You're, you're doing some new things. Tell us what's up. So the, the biggest development has been the shooting of an online course. Um, so we're, we're going to create a certificate for business owners to practice heart leading law and understand how heart leading law applies to their business. The reason why I shot the course was that I found myself having the exact same conversations with all of my clients time and time again. And I just thought, okay, these are amazing heart leading people who are building businesses and doing wonderful things who don't understand anything about the law. I've gone through enough you know, like test cases or samples of clients to understand that there is a significant gap and the gap is always in the same place. Why not shoot a super cool video that's fun, informative, and digestible for people to interact with the law in a proactive and positive way? So if I watch this course, so I'm going to get to like test it out for you? Right? Yes, you, you are confirmed as the first beta <laughs> tester. Um, I can't wait. Yes, that agreement was reached last night uh, at a bar, but it's still... <laughs> I, uh, do, I do recall it now after, after you uh, reminded me. Yeah, so I, d- I, was, uh, I had full capacity. Um, so yeah, I, it'll be great for you to run through it. The, the concept is sort of the first module is changing the paradigm about the way people think about the law. And re-explaining it because, like, there's a lot of Hollywood and suits and preconceived notions about how lawyers are. So I try to break that down. Then I go into relationships, which is like the essence of law. My whole thing is that law is a series of relationships. Your obligations in that relationship will vary depending on what relationship it is. So it could be a business partner, it could be someone who works for you, it could be a client, it could be someone online. All the various things. And then I talk a little bit about marketing and business best practices of what I've learned from working with over 200 clients and seeing what works and what doesn't work. And I've also included uh, some extra bonus materials, which is basically explaining how I built a law practice while traveling the world. So I share different stories from different countries. So it's like there is the law, but it's also like marketing and business and relationships and communication. So I think it's, it's a great value add. And, and I, the goal is to create more awareness for the, wall, uh, for the law, to empower people to practice properly and just to get conversations started. I think we're going to see you here next year at Bold presenting, right? Are you going to be... You would be a great presenter here. That's very kind of you to say. If I was the one selecting presenters, I would confirm my presence. <laughs> but it's not. I don't get to make that decision. That being said, um, uh, I'm open to anything happen and hoping that it will. Well, Blake said he was going to hook you up with uh, Mind Body One. And maybe doing some seminars or something. I don't know. He's going to hook you up, though. You guys have to personally meet. You've talked, though, right? We have spoken and just, yeah. Um, we've spoken and, and he's my, my target for Bold Bash. Oh, okay. Bold Bash, I'm on the hunt. I'm on the hunt for a hug. I'm oh. hunting for hugs. So um, what I find really great about what you do is that you're trying to change that paradigm of how like you said, how people think about the law, but how you write up your legal agreements so that there aren't 
problems. When problems perhaps occur, there's always a, a solution in the legal agreement, right? That would be, that's an incredible task because if you, okay. if you think in any given relationship, the ability to foresee what problems would come up can be quite challenging. Right. What the documents do is firstly, they're written in plain English so everyone understands them. First and foremost, which is like, I love you that. avoid a lot of the problems because a lot of people sign things they don't understand. And if they really knew what they were signing, they would never sign it in the first place. So let's go back to that proactive position from there. Secondly, documents often will have mechanisms to promote discussion and alternative means of resolving an issue outside of the court system. And what you need is two parties who are open to doing that. And when you have that, it, it creates a support network for people to freely express themselves in a particular issue and to be and to communicate openly and honestly and find a way to resolve issues in that manner. I think that's just amazing and I'm so excited to be your beta test for your course because I'm going to need some of this soon. <laughs> cool. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to have you and it's, it's a really exciting prospect. My favorite part of the course was bringing my clients on to talk about their experiences. So for every, almost every area uh, or lesson or module, I would talk about it and explain the legal concepts. Then I bring a client who I worked with on that area to say like, hey, what's up? Like, why was a shareholder agreement important to you? Okay. What was important that it had? Yeah. Why, why did you put this in your waiver and release? Why did you have this in your contract agreement with your clients? And, uh, and it was amazing hearing what they said. I like that because then uh, the other people can get ideas and relate to what they're saying. If they're, Is it mostly yoga or is it fitness or is it what kind of companies are it's, you working with? It, it's actually all, none of these are yoga or fitness companies. Oh my goodness, yeah. really? Yeah. Actually, one of them is a, one of them owned a gym. One of them is a coach and has started a female cooperative, which is incredible. One of them runs a dog training company. Um, one of them is putting on a dance festival. Uh, one of them is an online coach. So just oh, yeah. all these amazing conscious individuals leading heart, leading lives and, uh, and showcasing what they're doing mm -hmm. and also how law applies to their business. I think it's fantastic. Thank you for doing that. I love that we have met each other and that you're get, coming into this world, uh, you know, where, where we are. You're coming down into the California world and the United States world. <laughs> um, and didn't you say that you're also getting uh, your license for to practice law in California? I'm now on the Yoga Legal website, the Yoga Law website. We're going to be selling documents in California. So we're starting in California, Washington, and Oregon. I don't think I will be sitting the bar to become a California attorney, right. but what we're going to do is have California lawyers approve of the documents okay. so that anyone who's purchasing them, any yoga professional in California will have received a document that's been drafted and approved by a California lawyer. Oh, I think that's fantastic. So you'll be able to go on there, purchase like a basic type of agreement or basic type of document. And then do you recommend that somebody like take it to an attorney and get it, you know, like you or get it, uh, you know, customized for their business? It, so there's we, we've created different packages based on if you're a yoga teacher, if you're a yoga studio owner, if you're running a festival, if you're running a teacher training. All of the contracts come with an audio that I've recorded okay. and the audio will walk them through how to fill out the agreement. And then there's different tiers of pricing. So if you just want the basic agreements, I want law to be affordable to everyone. Yeah. So if you just need a basic agreement, you can pay a certain price and you'll get the documents and you'll get the audio and you can fill it out yourself. If you want a more customized agreement or you want legal coaching included with that, you know, to assess your business and what your areas of exposure to risk are and opportunities to grow legally, um, we'll offer that as well. That is fantastic. Well, thank goodness for you, Corey, and Conscious Counsel. And uh, what I'm most interested to is hearing that story about you traveling all over the world and practicing law in all those different places. That you will have to wait until the course to hear that information. <laughs> but I have great news for you. We are adding to that particular curriculum. I'm coming up on, I'm going to be spending three weeks in Europe starting on September 25th. And then I'm going to South America for five months. Five months? Yes, because I have to show people that you can work in a traditional industry and build an online business and have a wonderful life and do all of those things and, and live a passion leading life. So I'm going to go to Brazil. I'm going to study Portuguese. And then I'll come back and nothing will really change, but everything will change. I think that is fantastic. And I'm so inspired by you. 
I love it. So you'll be on Instagram and we can follow you? Instagram for sure. Um, yoga, yogalegal.com is the yoga law website. Okay. There's consciouscouncil.ca. And then the yoga law book, which we've not forgotten about. Oh, yeah. I've decided to put off the launch of that until when I'm back next spring because I'll do a tour and I'll do workshops in conjunction with it. So the book is still there. I actually, very, very cool. I got an email from someone in Indiana uh -huh. who already wants to purchase the book. Which is like, that's cool when you get a random email like that. So, yeah. and, I, and I'm really excited about that. I've shared it with a lot of people. I've got wonderful feedback and I know that it'll help as well. So lots of information coming, lots of different mediums and continuing to build wonderful community of, of passion leading, heart leading law individuals. I love it. You're on a mission and I can't wait to be partake in your course. Thank you for sitting with me here. And we're going to have some fun tonight. It's been a pleasure. Bold Bash, watch out. <laughs> you can follow Corey on his travels around the world on Instagram at Conscious Council. I can't wait to live vicariously through him. He is uh, currently in Ireland as I'm recording this. So when we come back, my update interview with Sadie Nardini. On the next episode of Sound, Mind, and Body, join me for a very in-depth, personal, and emotional conversation with a friend of mine, Tamara Mark, a former accomplished Broadway actress whose true spiritual journey began when she became the mother of two severely autistic boys. I'm a single mom now, and I have two boys that will, for the rest of their life, require 24-7 care. And... Um, I always get emotional talking about I know. it. And you know, they're the um, most beautiful teachers because what they've taught me by me having to persevere through so much suffering and not lose my faith and my conviction that there's purposeful good in everything that happens, even the most tragic, horrible things, you know, that we live through in life. Yeah. There is purposeful good in it because we're in earth school or it's all illusion, really. I mean, we're just playing out our, our particular part in this lifetime. And I have learned through being with them how to be moment to moment and how to be more flexible, how to be more patient, how to not have expectation. That's next week on Sound, Mind & Body. Hey, it's Tim Edwards with the Inbound Podcasting Network and producer of Sound, Mind, and Body. Just the fact that you're listening to the Sound, Mind, and Body podcast tells us that you enjoy consuming your content through your ears. Now, if you're a podcast listener, you're a perfect fit to enjoy audiobooks. So for you, our listeners and official members of Sheila's Woo Woo community, Audible is offering you a free audiobook download and a free 30-day trial to check out their awesome service. Give it a shot. You've got nothing to lose. It's absolutely free for 30 days, and you get a free audiobook to keep even if you don't continue with the subscription. Support Sound, Mind, and Body by visiting audibletrial.com slash inbound. That's audibletrial.com slash inbound. We'll include a link in the show notes, or just click the Audible banner at soundmindbodypodcast.com. Okay, we're back and continuing my bold conference update. Let's check in with Sadie Nardini and see what's new and wonderful with her. So here we are at the pool bar um, with the one and only Sadie Nardini. And this is kind of like a, you know, I'm getting deja vu because this is where we first met you last year. So, That's so true. thanks for being back on the podcast, Sadie. You're welcome. And if you if you guys can hear the background music, I hope you feel like you're on an island beach too. We're looking at the ocean right now. It's right after my last presentation of the whole week for the Mind Body Bold Conference, and I'm sitting here with a glass of wine and just chilling out after a big conversation with everyone about how to make online courses. That is, you are amazing. So Sadie just did a presentation about how she does what she does. And this is what I love about you, Sadie, is that you not only, 
you know, tell everybody step by step and you gave us the PDF and you're giving us the course, you're saying, here is exactly how I do this. Yeah, I just find that a lot of people give like these teasers and then try to sell everyone and all their stuff. And I really don't feel good about that. I mean, I have things for sale, should people choose. But when I come here, I really want to offer something real and something deep. And yeah, I decided not to give an hour teaser, but an hour in-depth kind of talk and questions and then give them the whole e-manual to teach them how to do the course. I think abundance begets abundance you know what you give out you get back and I prefer to be more abundant than less with boundaries so I do have some exclusive content and all of that and I mentioned that but when I give I give and I give a lot and I just find it comes back to me a thousand fold you are living it you're truly living it you're not just like preaching it and it's not just words for you you're really living you're a living example of how you create that abundance by giving well thanks you know I I said it in the talk and I'll say it again. I always say that, uh, you know, collaboration is the new competition. I love that. And I live like that. I was a very freaked out, lack oriented, scared person when I first started. And I would try to like charge for everything and I was scared, like, oh, what's going to happen if I put my content out there? Everyone's going to steal it. And then I realized that wasn't serving me. It didn't feel good, it didn't feel true. And I completely stopped doing that right away. And I said, you know, I am a good person. I am an abundant person. And I don't have to let fear have any part of my dreams, my process, my moving forward, my journey. So I left fear behind. And whenever it rises up, as it always does, because we're human, I just go, oh, there's you, little little shadow puppy dog. It's not even a monster anymore, you know? It's just this little kind of yippy, annoying dog that's just like, okay, go play. It's fine. I'm going to keep moving forward. And I really wanted to exemplify that today. And I feel good that I was able to step up there and maybe be a role model today for that idea of what it is to offer not only to the world but to yourself as well make sure that you get abundant and they get yes. abundant and they're in within that there's that beautiful dance and that's what we're trying to do here i'm glad you got to come too i am so excited we've been having a great time and we've had some time to sit down and talk and everything and you're doing a lot of you're continually creating courses so talk about some of your most recent courses all right well i took a really big chance and I made a course I've been wanting to make for a long time, but I wasn't sure if anyone out there wanted that course. And that was a course with my mother and I called Get Moving Again. It was a chair yoga course because she's had a lot of trouble with fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue and just getting older. She's, she's 70 now and she wanted to kind of get moving and strengthen herself. So I said, hey mom, let's, why don't I put you on a chair and me on the mat in case somebody can get to the floor and let's do a chair yoga course that's empowering and fun and, and in real time. So I taught her, I did not know that this chair yoga course was going to sell 75,000 courses in two months. <laughs> oh my God, it's <laughs> so amazing. A ton of people are writing me saying, I'm wheelchair bound or I'm just recovering from chemotherapy and I just wow. don't have the energy to do my old practice or a million things. And they're writing me saying, thank you. It's truly gentle. I can actually do this. Mm -hmm. And it makes me feel like I can, I can get moving again. And that was why we called it that. It's just been awesome. And I think I'm the exclusive announcement right now of this that you and I are actually going to make a course. I'm just putting Yay. this onto your podcast. A few different courses, but the first one is going to be teaching other people how to make such an awesome rock star podcast like you have. I'm going to I'm going to learn <laughs> from the saying yes. Wow. I'm saying yes because I know that it's going to be nothing but good and I'm so grateful for this opportunity. And you know, just you just get me thinking about Oh my God, what else is possible? What else is possible? There's so many things. Yeah. And I just love the, the, the way that you say, look, you, you're doing this awesome thing, so show other people how to do this awesome thing for themselves. And then it becomes, you know, it's just the abundance returning. Yes. And a lot of people are like, oh, if I give away my secrets, right. then everyone's going to have them and no one's going to watch my thing or, do my, or hear my podcast or do my yoga or 
come buy my online courses or, or find me in person, but that's actually the, the opposite of what the truth is. What happens when you do something like this, when you create something out there and you share your expertise, is that you become seen as the expert and actually more people come to watch your podcast oh, and listen yes. to how you do it. More people come to your yoga classes right? because they've done an online thing with you and they think you're a superstar and they want to come study with you and it's really beautiful, you know? And I, I know it's, it's a scary thing but I'm so impressed that you said yes to that request from me. I'm so excited. And the only difference between me being really successful in the online course creating world and anyone else is that I have done it. Right. That's it. It's just the completion. But yeah, and, and I'm, you know, you were the one to even suggest to Daily Ohm that they do video courses, right? Yes. So when I first saw Daily Ohm, they were a huge platform, but they were mostly writing. Yeah. I don't know if they had any video content, and they didn't seem to have any movement content, like yoga, movement. When I approached them with that, to his credit, the uh, CEO of that company, Scott, he said, well, yeah, that's a great idea. You know, let's try it. <laughs> and it's this openness. And now, yeah, years exactly. later, still having many of the best-selling courses on that site and continuing to make courses for them. They are a great, abundant, generous partner for me. I, I, it all goes back to that one curious yes yeah. that I got from him and the, and the curious yes that we all get asked to say here and there and a lot of people say, oh no, I couldn't possibly, we couldn't possibly. That's not the way things are done. Right. That's not the way I've always done it. That is, I don't, I'm, I couldn't step out on a camera. I'm not good enough. I'm not clear enough. I'm, I'm insecure. A million reasons yeah. why not, but what are the reasons why yes? I know. And that's what we're doing here today, yes, right? Why exactly. not, why not will rule your life. Well, why yes? This What's the why? best that could exactly. happen? Exactly. What is the best that can happen? Not that's the worst. I come to Bold every year because I get inspired and I'm so thankful that we met you here last year. You totally got me thinking about all that stuff and probably part of the reason why I said, yes, I'm just going to do this podcast that I've been thinking about yeah. for a long time you know and, and I hope that that freedom kind of ripples throughout the world and all of you who are listening who have some expertise to share mm -hmm. something burning in your heart something that you're not happy about in your life and a way to freedom to really be able to express who you are and what you are and create whether it's a podcast or an online course or an ebook or anything else that helps put you out there on a greater level without you having to show up all the time to do it I want you to really consider putting that out because the world needs us more than ever right now. A wellness, a fitness, a consciousness revolution is only going to happen if we make it happen and we get over ourselves and That's leap so over into that scary but ultimately so rewarding and powerful place of rocking who you are out there into the world. The world needs us to do it more than ever, so let's go. Let's do it. And, you know, let's just talk for a few minutes too. Now, you're also doing your music, you know, and you're like a rock star, you know, it, so you, you're saying yes to that for, you are kind of branching off into something that you've always loved to do, and now you're bringing it out, and we're going to get to hear an album soon, right? You are actually, and so now all the stuff I talked about before with you all, uh, yeah. it didn't scare me, <laughs> but the next level for me and the, and the frontier of vulnerability is really sharing my own voice. Mm -hmm through music, which I've always loved to do since I was a kid. I feel like I was always musician tribe, offering some movement and some empowerment stuff yeah. out to the world, okay? Instead of a yoga tribe doing a little bit of music. Right. The scariest thing for me was digging even deeper and finding that part of myself that really wanted to express myself through music. And then when I decided to do it, when I said yes in meditation to the universe, I said, I want to, but I don't want to do yoga music. I want to do rock music, uh -huh. rock and roll, classic rock, the stuff I grew up with in the 70s. Who you really are. Who I am, and that is my yoga. To be who I am and to represent that is what yes. I've always taught. So people are like, oh, what kind of, like, is there a sitar in it? I'm like, no, there's no sitar, oh but there's gosh. like a, you know, there's electric guitar and a couple drummers. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm wailing. <laughs> But I, I got the opportunity through a bunch of serendipitous meetings and opportunities throughout the last couple of years to create a, an album that really represents my true voice. And that is coming out. In fact, we're mixing the last song of that tomorrow. Yay. 
and that will be out after that as soon as we get it mastered. And we're already well into the writing of the second one that will come out next year. I'm getting asked to be up on stages with this music, and it's just interesting and amazing. Taking a whole new life of its well, own. Yeah, and it's what happens to all of us when you really align yes. line up with who you are. Mm -hmm. And the opportunities will find you where before, if you were kind of hiding back or like in a job you hate and then wishing you could do it, when you start taking baby steps even toward that in you, which is truly aligned and saying yes right. to it, you be bowled over by how many opportunities come out of the woodwork to help you do that. And it's fun. It's like living in that, living your bliss, right? It's yep. fun. And uh -huh. you're like, wee, this uh -huh. is so fun. That's right. And you even took that to, back to your courses and you have a, a course called Rock Your Voice, right? Yeah, so now I'm creating courses not only about how to make courses, <laughs> because <laughs> I figured why not teach everyone how to do it. Yeah. But I'm also branching out and making courses with actual rock star musicians about anyone wanting to unlock the energy of their voice, mm -hmm. whether it's you want to chant better in yoga class or you're a teacher wanting to support your voice better or you're a singer who wants to be more dynamic and really rivet people when you open your mouth. What is that? How do you get there? Yeah. So we've brought the spiritual and energetic mantra worlds together with the singing world and, and music worlds to help you gain a deeper understanding and expressive ability through your whole body and it's just it's energetically opening no matter what it is and I can see like you know me taking that course and for the podcast you know rock your voice yes. right it's the same yes. concept yeah because I could talk like this if I breathe <laughs> in a weird way and I sound like Pee Wee Herman <laughs> or I can be my Barry White alto self you have and, a great voice and I know how to support it but yeah. I swear it's all knowing who you are where you live where mm. your energy is where your truth is, yeah. how to get there and support it, and then how to be brave enough to actually show that to other people. Otherwise, we're all hiding, and it's just so constrictive, and it can cause dysfunction and disease. So, yes, yeah. singing is another way to teach that in us which needs to be expressed and, like, how yeah. to really get out of ourselves and do it. Um, one thing that's really cool is that because I was able to do this music, because I stepped forward and said yes to it, because I met you, because we've talked about this, mm -hmm. you have even become one of my gateways, and you invited me to do something really cool, which is the bowling yeah, event. Yeah, the Bowl for Ronnie that we have every year, and Sadie and her husband, James St. Vincent, will be there, <laughs> and as VIPs, and you know, getting into that community, you, you're gonna fit right in. Yeah. It's perfect. We're, we're meeting the rock stars, and you know, we're on the red carpet too, and yeah. it's just amazing how for music, you know, for the yeah. music and for and for his own art, his acting and all the stuff. And it's just amazing what happens when you line up with yourself. So I know I'm talking a lot about myself, but I'm using myself as an example. And these are all just kind of um, templates or blueprints right. for how you can also do this in your own way. And I think if you're listening to this right now, if you've been hiding back, if you've let fear get in your way, if you're like, oh, I should be doing this, or oh, I need a 401k, but I really love doing this other thing. Right. Well, I had a 401k too, and a cubicle all to myself, <laughs> and I am never going back again. Yeah. Because when you line up with yourself, miracles occur, and you're going to be just fine. Just follow your bliss, as Joseph Campbell said, and you yes. alluded to. Follow your bliss. And doors will open where before you saw only walls. I love that. And you also have a new um, URL, right? You have a new online. It's just sadiecourses.com, yes. Yes. right? Yes. I, I shortened and made it simpler. So the fact that she just remembered that from before is a good sign. I guess it was the right name, sadiecourses.com. Yes. You did it because and it was too long before. So that's where you can go to see all my new courses that are coming up. I'll now put that, June. yes, and I'll put that in the, in the show notes, and we're going to, you know, um, everybody go to sadiecourses.com. You're going to find a course for you because she has a, all kinds of different things, you and know, from. Your course is going to be there coming soon. Yay! <laughs> Can't wait. Well, thank you for uh, for the update on the podcast, Sadie. Of course. And um, we'll be seeing you soon. Yes, can't wait. Bye, everybody. Woohoo! I can't believe I'm actually going to be working with Sadie Nardini. You see, dreams can come true, all because I started this podcast, which was also a dream. 
I hope that inspires you to start something you've been dreaming of. Let me know. Send me a voicemail or email to soundmindbodypodcast at gmail.com. Thank you so much for listening. And please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you like the podcast, we would appreciate it if you could give us a review on iTunes. It helps new listeners find us. Thank you to our producer, Tim Edwards, and the Inbound Podcasting Network. And thank you to our guests, Corey Sterling and Sadie Nardini. Get in touch and join the conversation. We're on Instagram at Sound Mind Body Podcast, or find us on Facebook, YouTube, or the web. Search for Sound Mind Body Podcast. I'm Sheila Melody. Join us next week as we explore, enlighten, and evolve. <laughs>